Hey everyone, thanks for hanging back out with us again today. Uh, we got something really cool to show you. We're going to be working with uh, all dead on plastic Paragon colors, pearl colors. And uh, we're going to mix them together and we're going to be using the uh, G5 swim baits from Angling AI. So uh, make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and all that stuff. And uh, hope you like it. Here we go. Now these Paragon colors from Dead On Plastics are awesome. If you look at their site, um, it's under the pearls, um, but uh, the colors are amazing. You can, they're like a real light tint of color with the pearlescent look to it. And uh, like this snow shine here, you guys, if you've been watching our show, you see me, you can put this in anything. These work amazing on their own. Or if you just want like that pearl, you can add it to any of your bases too, but uh, to just give a little enhancement. But this is what we're going to be working with today: marsh grass, snow shine, and Yukon. We're going to get these uh, ready to go for you. As you can see, we have five of the G5 molds set up and open, ready to go. What we're going to do is we're going to capsule half of it. Uh, with the first layer, we have our hot plate is set on just a warm setting just to get the chill off of them. And uh, we're going to heat up some plastisol and get ready to rock. Now when you're using these Paragon colors, it's real important to make sure you shake it really well for a, at least a good minute. Now for this, we're going to, this is your, our capsule color and our top color. We're going to start with 40 drops and a half a cup. Just for a little bit of flavor, I like putting 0 .040 coffee flake, a scoop of that in, just to add a little bit of texture to it. And we're going to put some .040 meteor flake. I love this flake. We put this in a lot of stuff. It looks like a black flake, but if you look closely, there's like all kinds of colors and sparkles going on. We're not even going to put a whole scoop of that, just a splash. Alright, we're going to stir this up. Now what's really cool about using those Paragon colors is even if you put too much in there, I mean, if you're using it by itself, then it's, it's it'll be fine. Your saturation won't be too much because these are really translucent colors. They just add a nice subtleness of color tint to it with a pearl shine amazing colors see it looks dark in the cup but if you look at the knife you see right through it very very cool effects and when we use all three of them together all the colors will play off of each other all right so that's the top, the first step. So we're going to vacuum chamber this off and uh, we'll uh, show you how to capsule for the next step. Okay. Now, if you've seen us do any of our pours before, you know, we use a cold mold to catch all the uh, overspill. Now, what we, our goal is we're going to go about halfway down the body and all the way down. So that's what our intention is. On warm molds, not cold, we're gonna pour it in the head and then about halfway down the body and just let it run and then flow it out. Just like that. 
if you, I don't know if you can see even see it. It's so light. We're gonna go about halfway, and then just let it run down the body, and then dump her out, just like that. All right. We're going to go through and get these ones all done real quick. Okay, we got the capsules all poured. You can kind of see it, and these ones are a little better from the shadow. What we did, we're about halfway down, not quite to the bottom of the belly. Okay? And then the, all the overspray that came off, where you just pinch it off. Make sure you pinch. Don't just yank it off. Or rub it off because it'll, it'll ruin your uh, paint or your the mold. Pinch, 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 pinch all the way down. Just pinch it all the way down. Even when it looks thin, make sure you still get all the way down. All right. Now we're gonna get the hook slots in and close these up and clamp them all down, and then uh, um turn the t um temp on the hot plate we're going to turn up to about 200 and then uh we'll show you how we get ready for the snow shine bellies all right so for the snow shine um i love this color and it's such a clear um transparent um color that i don't really add or count drops i just do a quick squirt so what we're going to do that's it one swirl around it and that's good and then to just to flavor this one up we're going to use the dead on flake night flake and the 0.025 and very little bit just not even the full spoon just enough to put oh, not even that just enough to season it up a little bit you i never want to overpower the color with um flake flake should be like when you're cooking and you add spices and stuff you don't overwhelm your dish with spices you just want it to enhance the flavor of this of the dish so that's what i how i think of flake is you just want to add a little bit just enough to spice it up if you can see in there it's just a little bit of pepper that's it stir that in real nice and that's all we're doing for that. So we're going to vacuum this out and then we're going to pour the bellies of this color real quick up to snow shine. All right. Here we got our molds all clamped up and ready. We got our belly color with just the snow shine with just a uh, little bit of a uh, uh, black flake. Now we're going to pour it in there. We want it. I'm going to pour it right to the top of the hook slot right even with it nice and slow now since the molds are about 200 degrees now i'm pouring about 320 and that'll keep this the flake suspended so it doesn't all fall to the bottom of your bait right to the top of that hook slot nice and easy Nice and slow, no rush, no rush. Never want to rush hand pouring. Nice and easy. All right, and the last one here. All right, just like that. Now we're gonna uh, get ready to pour a vein in there with the Yukon. We're gonna leave this 
uh, temperature right at 200, and uh, I'll show you how we pour the Yukon. All right, now we're going to do our vein. So, just like the snow shine, I'm not going to count drops of the Yukon. We're just going to put a swirl along the top. These colors are so awesome because they're so transparent. They have uh, over a dozen different colors, but they're such a trans translucent color that you really got to layer it in there if you want to overpower it. No matter how much you put in, you it's pretty transparent. But we're just going to do a little swirl. That's it. Just a quick swirl around it. Stir that in real good. Look at that nice gold. Yukon gold. I'm actually going to put another squirt. What, that one had two squirts of that gold in there. Yeah, that's better. Look at that. But see, pull it out. It's still pretty transparent. But that's where we want it right now. So we're going to vacuum this off and then we're going to pour the veins in real quick. All right. Now we're going to pour the vein. Now we have our molds set at uh, 200. So I'm pouring about 320. And we're going to pour, start toward the middle, and we're going to drift it toward the back, and then let it flow toward the head. Nice and slow. Start in the middle, drift it toward the back, and then slowly let it come ahead just to where we're filling that hook slot. Just over the hook slot. The temperature of the molds will uh, allow it to uh, flow where it's got to go. Right in the middle. Pull it backwards, and then pull it forward. Nice and slow. Stop right at the hook slot. And the heat of the mold will pull it where it's got to go. Pull back, pull forward. Front. All right. All righty. Now, you remember the uh, capsule we poured first? We're going to reheat that, and then we're just going to top these off with uh, that uh, marsh grass capsule pour we did. All right, while that's reheating, this is the time where we turn our molds up to about about 275 between 250 to 75 and that'll be our final temperature and that'll help everything bond together and gel together we're going to put on 275 and just leave that there and then we're going to get ready to pour that marsh grass top all right now we got our capsule marsh grass color we did we're going to start right in the middle in the same that we did with the vein, I'm going to flow it to the tail, let it fill all the way in, nice and slow, and then run it to the front. But I'm not going to go all the way to the front. I'm going to stop in the middle and let it just flow to the front. That way it doesn't trap any air bubbles underneath the head of that, since that head goes so far under. In this style mold, that'll keep the heads from getting any bubbles in it. Fill in that tail. Let it flow about middle. And let it flow and fill that head in. Now since these molds are real hot. They're about 275. My plastic's only about, about 320. About 300, 320. Do a little swirl and it'll bring all your flakes up to the top. 
throw that tail in nice and slow and just to wear the plastic crowns on the top that's where you want to stock it and the last one here fill the tail and then let it stop right about there and let it flow into the head just like that <clears throat> now you don't always have to stop it back here and let it flow into the head but this mold in particular the head of it actually goes beyond where you see it actually goes up to about here so if you just pour it right up to there you could trap an air bubble in there and get an air pocket in your head so if you pour it here and it, let it flow into the head it'll push all the air out at the same time and you won't get no air bubbles air pockets trapped under that uh, edge of the mold but <clears throat> these are done poured we're going to kill the heat and then we're going to let this cool down on its own state as long as it takes to cool down by itself so the molds are cool to the touch and then we'll open them up and see how we did all right we're back it's been about an hour they're cooled off good enough that they're cool to the touch so uh we're gonna open them up and see how we did all right here we go let's see how we did let's open this first one up oh yeah beautiful natural looking color look at that very cool let's check them all out i'm assuming they all look pretty this pretty much the same very very cool natural color and when the natural <clears throat> the light from outside <clears throat> natural light hits it all the different paragon colors will really the pearls will really play off of each other too and create illusions of color but since they're paragon and pearls they're all still uh, um, transparent they're just a tint of color. They can, they're can they awesome on their own or with another color. Very cool. You know what? Let me put an eye on one of these. And you can get the whole effect of it. Use our Loctite. Just a little drop on there. And then uh, make sure your eye orientation is very important. Always make sure it's going the right direction. I see so many times people put a lot of time in their pour and then their eyes are going every direction. Make sure your orientations are all going the same way. Now you can get the full effect of it. Look at that. Awesome. We're going to get the eyes on the rest of these and uh, we'll meet you outside. Well, natural lighting is always best, but we woke up to this garbage. So, we'll just stand right here. Obviously, no sunlight out here. Very cool. You know what? This ain't too bad in my kitchen table. You can see a little bit better. Yeah, look at that. Very, very cool. Awesome. Very cool. So there it is. Pretty nice, cool, natural color. Those Paragon Pearls are awesome. Make sure you check those out at Dead On Plastics. Uh, they have over a dozen different colors and they're amazing on their own like we used or uh uh with, you can add them to any of your bases um just for an extra little flare of color real awesome colors 
And uh, if you are, are interested, if you're new at um, bait making or thinking about starting bait making, Angling AI and Dead on Plastics came together and they have brand new starter kits that are available. So make sure you go and check those out too. And uh, this is probably our last video before uh, Christmas. So uh, on behalf of the boys who are in school uh, and us, we'd like to wish you all a Merry Christmas. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.